Scientists are studying a mummified body in Ecuador that may be the missing link in understanding the spread of rheumatoid polyarthritis in Europe. Eileen Cerudo tells us why. A 16th century mummified body that was found upright in the wall of an Ecuadorian church could shed new light into the history of diseases between Europe and the New World. The guano mummy was first discovered in 1949 after an earthquake exposed part of a wall stuck behind the wall for centuries and protected from rats and flies. The well-preserved remains has long intrigued experts. Now in 2019, a French pathologist who has previously studied the remains of Hitler is scanning the mummy to see what clues it holds into the history of diseases. What makes it strange is that the mummy was found in an upright position, without a casket, without any offerings. It was not a typical grave. Its position was strange. Preliminary findings of the mummy has found an inflammatory disease in its joints, possibly revealing a rheumatoid polyarthritis that was common in the Americas and which predates the arrival of Christopher Columbus. There are theories abound on the guano mummy. Urban legend has dubbed the man a local friar, but experts believe the burial of the individual does not suggest he held a religious title. Tests so far have identified a likely cause of death a chin fistula that could have turned into an abscess and placed the man's age at about 90 years old. Further tests into the mummy are still to be carried out using carbon dating, radiographs, and endoscopies. DNA tests can be made uh, relatively quickly. I think that uh, within the next few months, before the sixth next month, you will get the results of the DNA analysis. Uh, DNA analysis will be made here in Ecuador. Experts hope to paint a fuller picture of the mummy and his profile in the coming months. Eileen Cerudo, UNTV, News and Rescue.